morning everyone so it's another day in Italy today is a very exciting day we're really excited about we've got both cars here we've woken up we're glad to say hello um, both cars are all nice and ready they're a bit dirty and we're heading over to Monza as I mentioned yesterday so what we have to do first is get them all nice and clean and then we're gonna go a little gonna go over to Monza to oh, take some photos and do the other stuff the lads are just messing around but yeah so first of all car wash Mental, so we were just casually driving and then a new GT3 RS and a Mantis Green 650S which is pretty ironic have showed up. So that's pretty cool. We're now in a full-on convoy. <laughs> Out of the blue. Arrived at the car wash, um, ready to get these babies slightly more clean. The McLaren's in there. I'll try and get a photo for Instagram of both of them next to each other. But lovely to be back in this FF. Now time to get our fingers dirty. So standard car wash issue. Um, we didn't have <laughs> we didn't have enough um, coins to fill the machine up. We only had a 50 euro note. Um, but now we've managed to find ourselves some coins. Get the car wash going, and hopefully we won't, won't be too late for this event. We wanted to get there around about now, but hey ho. This is men trying to figure out Italian car washers. Well, we figured it out. Getting a good clean. Oh, that's a proper squat right there. Mark's doing the Ferrari. All looking pretty good, really. So left the car wash, um, haven't dried the cars, we're hoping they'll just sort of dry themselves. We put a special Fingers feature crossed. on, um, that means that normally, as long, as long as you sort of drive it at a fair old speed, uh, the water will just sort of float off and not leave any marks. So now heading towards Monza, pretty excited to get to this event, um, and yeah, pretty decent day so far. Weather is holding up not too bad, which is good, we were worried it'd be raining for the track, but uh, so far so good. Well, there's no longer a driver, which does mean I can look at this beautiful seat, Alcantara embossed, embossed or embossed leather, blue stitching and normal leather in the middle. Anyways, we are stuck in a traffic jam, just entered into the Monza grounds. Uh, Tim is looking at the cars to see if the car wash was good or not. Um, but yeah, we're going to head onto the track now in a wee bit. But I thought that while I'm here and while I'm stuck in the traffic jam, I'll show you a couple of the things with the interior. So. Of course we got the blue stitching, very very nice. No more um, aircon control stuff here because it's now a speaker, tweeter for the speaker. Satin carbon absolutely everywhere in this car. Blue stitching down here which is very very nice. Um, we got the MSO blue switches right there. MSO black around the start button and also all the gear selector things down here. That's another MSO thing. And around the volume control right there. There's also an MSO option of having carbon on the air vent. Apart from that, everything is Alcantara. Alcantara here. Alcantara there. Is it embossed or embossed? Embossed. Embossed. Embossed leather on the uh, sides of the seats to hold you in. It's better. pretty cool, right? Um, and then, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you guys know this. No glove box, all leather. I mean, Alcantara. And then we've got the... Um, uh, manuals there and the Meridian sound system with another little tweeter here um, so yeah pretty special interior I love these seats they do hold you in very nicely and I like the little stitching there and I like seeing the car the satin carbon on the um, wing mirror as well but anyways there we go that was our traffic time entertainment so this is commitment right here and Mark speaking to us on the radio. He's cleaning his car while we're waiting in the traffic jam because he wants it to look good for everyone there. All right, so we're here. We've arrived in Monza. Um, there's a, quite a few people who are here to see the car, I think. But uh, yeah, it's been pretty fun. Now we're gonna just say hi to everyone, chill for a bit, and then go out on the track, I reckon. There seem to be some other pretty cool cars. So exciting times ahead. Look at this baller. He's living the life. Casual LFA, just chilling. 
That's very cool. There are lots of nice cars here. GT3s, there are four GT3 RSs. It's insane. Check this out. This is pretty rare and cool. Morgan, I think it's called the Aero Supersport or something like that. Very sexy looking. Very nice. In purple. Wow. That's, yeah, that's cool. So now there are six GT3 RSs. This one's just shown up as well. They look very, very nice. 918 is here. This one I've seen a lot in Monaco. This is so, so, so cool. Oopsie daisies. <laughs> this is here. Vantra by Mazati. Pretty cool car. Very one off. Looks pretty stunning, really. Quite like that. And then. You guys know how much I like Mia Pagani. Bunch of other cars here. Another GT3 RS right there. But... There's a Quaria. And Seb, just chilling there. Right, quick walk around. We got a bunch of Porsches. I thought I would show you around the whole car park. Uh, we got that GT3 RS there. We have an F12. The Waria there, a Vantra thingy, uh, da, 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 da. what else is there? 4C, hashtag the scene blue glass, uh, RS6, the cool Morgan you saw earlier, Porsche Turbo S cab, another GTR, there's a bunch of GTRs and GT3s, they seem to be most popular. Ah, lot. Scuderia, another Morgan over there. Here's where stuff gets exciting though. We've got a Corvette. We've got the F50. We've got a Mantis Green um, 650S. SLS. GT3, GT3, GT3. That's where the 918 is. All these cars going out on the track. Speciali. Over there, you've basically got GT3 Speciali, a bunch more GT3s, nothing too, too, too horribly exciting. Cheeky. There are a bunch of GT4s around as well, I've seen two. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all the stuff here. Pretty cool array of cars. That F50 is badass. Uh, I'd forgotten to show you this as well. Radical. Wish I could tell you which one it was, but I have no idea. I think it's like RX something. There's another one there. And a Porsche uh -huh, in the same color as my one was. No. There's this lot too. I like the color on this R8. That blue. And the Speciali. Check it out. I am a happy bunny. There's a Zonda here. to take this on the track aren't we? We are, we're going off to do some photos. I think I'm gonna hop in the back of, is it an Evoke? Something like that. And I'm gonna get some videos of the FF and this, um, you know, driving around the track and stuff. But we're just gonna put it up now, so I thought I'd hop in with Tim instead of walk because I'm that guy. But people seem to like the car. First, react, first public reaction is really good. track now. This is pretty cool. My first time ever on Monza. And uh, let's get the cameras set up. Oh, this bucket seats are hard to get out of. Well, this seems like a crap idea.
Right, so as you just saw, I was leaning out of the back of that Evoke, which, a uh, <laughs> bit dangerous. Mum, I'm so sorry. Um, and now we've stopped to take some photos on the start-finish line. Both cars lined up, it looks unbelievable. These cars are just so sick, and this track is insane. It's just flipping Monza. Like, who does this? Okay. Seb doing his photography. These are probably some of the coolest photos I've ever been a part of. With the next round. Planning for some more photos, uh, stopped yeah, do you want to around the track, kind of at the end of it now. But uh, we've been getting some amazing shots. And this track is just so badass, I mean just look at that. Back in the back of the Evoke. Back in the back. Oh, Ooh, this is our view. <laughs> Ow, come on in. Welcome. Welcome home. Thanks. So this is the way I've been for the last 5-10 to minutes. Right, so did the last little section in the McLaren with Tim hey. because oh, hello, <laughs> because because uh, I could, and uh, now we are back in the pit lane, aren't we? That was a pretty fun way to do Monza, and I mean, never never going to do that again in such style. But we got some pretty cool photos that will be on all forms of social media, which you guys can go see. Well, I think a couple of people have noticed we've come back, but only only a few. So we're having our lunch. And this is our view while we have lunch. There aren't any cars coming past right now, but there are cars going past usually. Um, and it's pretty cool. Oh, there we go, there we go, there's a car. It's a pretty cool way to have your lunch, really. Amazing day so far. I'm not entirely sure what we're doing later, but I'm sure there'll be plenty more cool stuff. We're all just looking at this speciality. Oh, something's making noise. Hey! And we've got a very nice combo of McLarens right there. But uh, this is one very nice respect speciality. So, I have genuinely no idea what we're doing. Can you explain? We're going to the famous old historical part of Monza. Oh, we're doing that now? Photo shoot. Yes. Oh, cool. That's I didn't realize we were doing that. Hello. I've got a question for hey. you. <laughs> About your car. Yeah? Uh, are you going to sell this one in the future or are you going to keep it? I have no idea. You have no idea? Sorry. <laughs> Watching all the stones <laughs> everywhere, stones. We are driving up to this old corner, but the stones that you can hear Keep hitting apart. because there aren't that many, there's not that much soundproofing, is a horrible noise. So we were driving very slowly, but this is the old parabolica corner and it looks fantastic. This is such a weird feeling here. Oh, it's so slanted. I'm getting pushed down against this door. It's oh, crazy. Yeah, I it's can imagine. Have bucket seats because otherwise I know, or else I would be out the window by now. This is so out. slanted, much more than it looks on camera, I think, but we're literally like be. this. Uh, we're on Parabolica. We've just been told we are only the third people who have been allowed to come on here this year after Sterling Moss and Lewis Hamilton, so that's pretty cool. Um, now we're just sort of waiting to see what we're going to do photo-wise, whether we're going to go around it or not. We need to do about 150 kilometers an hour to stay on the top of it, so we're deciding whether we want to do it or not, depending on how sort of used the track is, whether there'll be too many stones popping up and stuff like that. So, I'll update you when I know myself. Driving down a racetrack backwards, as you do, because we had to turn the car around and obviously it doesn't deal that well with high degrees of um, lean, leaning. Leanage, leaning, whatever the word is, that stuff. Um, so we are now going to put it there to take the photos. A bunch of people taking photos, but I'm just waiting for the first person to fall. I feel like Seb's contender number one because he's the most ballsy. But these cars look pretty cool here. We've just discovered that it has uh, automatic doors because oh. of the slant. Magic. We 
we've come to the race track quickly. I'm with uh, I'm with Seb. I see some of the cars coming past. I think there's something coming now. Here's the Cayman GT4. I've been looking for one of these for a while. Ooh, aftermarket rims. Very nice. I like these a lot. event um, really 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 fun amazing cars it was fun to go out on the track we got some of the sickest photos um, you're on my Instagram and Tim's Instagram you'll see all of those uh, we are now driving through a little typical Italian town you kind of missed most of it but we we're right in there and it was kind of funky um, but today was fantastic nice cars beautiful woman as well uh, what more could you ask for Look, cheeky guys now heading back to the hotel, gonna edit the videos before heading out to dinner and uh, a right. good night out Left. with all the lads from here. Just cruising and came across this F12. Back at the hotel now, um, car's looking good behind us. Gonna head up now, start editing. Um, cars are pretty decently clean. FF could do with another clean actually yeah. but uh, the LT looks very nice and clean um, we don't have any bags with us so it makes it easier arriving at the hotel this time straight up the stairs and editing back in the room then and uh, we've done all of our editing pretty much I'm in the room in Tim and I's room um, and I thought I'd end the vlog here nothing too exciting is gonna happen we're basically just gonna go to dinner and then out with a couple friends but um, tomorrow is a fairly basic day. We're gonna have a bit of a lion because we're all feeling quite exhausted. And then we're gonna head to Maranello to go to the Ferrari factory. And that's the home of Ferrari because we figured now that we've got one on the you know, tour with us, might as well, might as well bring it there. So that's the plan for tomorrow. Apart from that, I don't think there's too much else planned, but you know, you never know with these things, something might pop up. But yeah, so thanks for watching as per usual. Remember to check out all the social media platforms to see much more from what we've done today and the other days and uh, i'll be seeing you tomorrow so thanks for watching again please remember to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you soon bye listen to this we'll try and get pops i am now in the lt with tim and we're taking it for a quick little spin um but this 